Today, this is how God's word came to us. I want to share it with you. Uh, I saw the Lord coming and giving a bundle of what looked like well-threaded or well-woven, tightly woven, like sailor's cords, only thing, uh, ropes, you may call it cords. They were not very long, maybe two meters, three meters in a bundle. And then I realized the scenario is that we are on a ship deck. It's not very rolly or anything, it's a ship deck. And uh, I was told first to, uh, this is your heavenly calling for this new season. What has changed has changed. But you had to first put your rail guards, these cords of your call, around so that you are safe on the deck. I said, why the deck should be safe? Uh, he said, but world is going to go through upheavals and turbulence. Now there's a lull before the storm. If you think COVID is the storm, uh, what is going to come after that is going to be uh, quite uh, tumultuous. So I'm preparing my people and uh, I forgot to tell you what I heard first was a gong, a big old-fashioned gong. It must have been the gong of a ship or something. You know what I mean? There's a big bronze colored thing and then a boom, boom, it goes on. Uh, it, 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 it was like, uh, it, it was like announcing uh, the season to get ready. You know, yesterday we had the master of the sheep. Uh, but this was uh, very specific, work assignments and so on. Uh, so the cords were given. We were to take our set of cords. And then I was told this look very humble, but they have, they look ordinary sailors ropes because after all we are sailors on the Lord's, uh, on Her Majesty's service, on His Majesty's service and uh, and waters uh, were choppy for some time. Now there's a lull and I'm preparing my people with cords of redemption, cords of different projects, purposes and uh, uh, and the, the, the thing of the essence in this season is that His time, His word his vision, his counsel, the rhema and the kairos, that's the Greek, there are two different things in the Hebrew, but the same thing is there, the rhema and the kairos, not, 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 the, not just time, that point of time, and then above all, the quickness in the fear of the Lord is going to be very important for these assignments that you have, then I saw when I was uh, when I was using so I, I when I st started to receive it and use one, I could see that the Lord is already positioned in from His heaven's throne. This was a short little cord. It looked like for some particular purpose, and it was easy to think it should be cast into the water, maybe or something like that. First, we were asked to secure our own deck of operation not to do things as we normally did, assuming, uh, you know. So th there's much work, he said, every hour for those who hear me, see me, in, live in my vision, and go according to my instruction every hour, every day. Much work. But if you do the usual thing, everybody's talking about the new norm. New norm is quickness in the fear of God, and do things exactly as he's saying. The old way will not work where you think Sunday will come, a lot of people will come, there will be a lot of work. Uh, that uh, Sunday may come and we want physical gathering to come. We are praying in our nation that physical gatherings be possible. In the Lord's Church is such an important thing. Cell meetings will be possible. And being in each other's home is Christianity. Coming to uh, church on Sunday is Christianity. We are praying that these things will happen in our country. Uh, at the same time, the Lord is saying, but this Christianity will have to be uh, one at a time. Acts 2, 42 to 47 Christianity is to be revived with the cord I am giving you. So it is connected with heaven, but the connection comes when we get active with it. When we go to our destiny, destination, get on the job of work as we have heard, and there is a beneficiary waiting there 
to be touched, to grab hold of it. And sometimes it's a very simple person just drowning in his own sin. A prisoner, a naked, yesterday I did a naked person, a prisoner, stranger, a hungry, uh, needing some clothes, sick. But sometimes it's a person who never thought they'll need God. Very important man in the city, maybe the richest businessman in your city, but he's struggling with whatever. And then you can take this cord also. Maybe it's a six is to one ratio. You know what I mean when you have done what looks like simple, humble things six times, the seventh comes. So then the cord turned silver as we were saving someone and they got it and heaven connected and we were there sometimes kneeling sometimes stooping over but we are safe uh, sometimes seated sometimes standing and pulling with all our might different postures but God working cords simple humble work cords then uh, sometimes the, the cord turns into golden uh, door, gate, uh, business opportunity for business people. You are, you are a Joseph and you are connected to the throne of heaven and someone comes along you never thought he will invest with you but he came along. And the issue, it, it, it was a treasure in the darkness. It was hidden but it is unveiled as you go with the cord the Lord gave. You see, it's a momentous time like that. That was the vision. So let's anchor it in the scriptures. You understand? Any vision we must anchor in the scriptures. So uh, Isaiah 11 had this quickness of the fear of the Lord and the different operations of the sevenfold spirit that will come to you. That will be just right for that occasion, for that hour, for that person, for that purpose, for that project, you see all those things clicking together and you say amazing I just went to do that it was just the right time you would have had already experiences like this and those experiences will uh, increase but this is a time of seize the opportunity seize the opportunity you have heard it before man's extremities God's opportunity you have heard it this is the time of practice for that seize the opportunity don't wait in the old form. I'll wait, I'll wait. I, but no, no. Quickness of the fear of the Lord. Quickness in your feet. Grab the opportunity. Not that you, you, you are, you are, you're, not that you are impatient. It is just that uh, it is the right time. The kairos, I said it. And it is the rima that comes, the word in season. Then the purpose, the place, the person, the project. There are four Ps. Add a three more yourself. Yes. Purpose, the person, the place, the project, it'll come through. And there won't be a problem when God begins to work. So some cords turn to gold, but it's a real Joseph opportunity. Investment, income, certainly. And of course, you will honor God with it. Yes, this is the season of the cords, work cords that God always had, but now he's hastening, quickening, accelerating his pace. Because there's another one trying to accelerate his pace. You remember Revelation 12 verse 12 when he was cast down by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony two agreeing together and he's seeing that his time is short. He came rushing in a rage but God was already ready with his deck prepared. It might have been just a deck you know uh, just by the water side or in the sea, a deck prepared. It was first secured with white cordon and we are, will protect our life, we'll be careful of our life. Yes, we'll be careful of our morals because this is a time that, they, that are pure shall see God. All the eight laws that we did yesterday, uh, that the sheep laws will be in operation. But here is Isaiah 11 today. Then a shoot will spring from the stem of Jesse and a branch from his roots will bear fruit. So shoot spring has that quickness, you know. Of course, this we know it's about the Messiah. Uh, and, and, and in this season, it's a shoot springs in your life from the stem of Jesse because you were already in the call of God <coughs> springs 
branch from his root. It's, it's a branch going over the wall. That's a Joseph blessing. And there will be quickness of fruit. It's a season like that. So you can see the language shoot will spring. It wasn't there. Opportunity sprang. And you were ready. You were in the hearing of God. You were in the seeing of God. You were purposed for such a time as this. You are ready. You are in, the, in, that, in that readiness of a deck. You know what a ship deck is like. Nobody's idling there. You are, you are ready, yes. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord will rest on him. Uh, so that's the resting Spirit of God. They not just goosebumps, anointing comes, anointing goes. No, no, no. This is Spirit of the Lord has really found rest with you. Now rise, O Lord, and come to your resting place. So he, he, you have made him your habitation. Not just to visit when you feel like it. No, no, no. Spirit of the Lord is resting. <clears throat> That's the first uh, quality. The spirit of wisdom comes. You know, it's like this. The master of the house, the Lord Jesus Christ, is choosing you as a steward. You remember Matthew 25, Luke 12, yes? Choosing you as a steward because you have been faithful. But he's choosing you for much now. Because so many things are there, and unfortunately, some are not hearing still. They think of getting back to the world as they knew. Uh, they are reading all kinds of fake news, and they are believing news more than the voice of the Lord. That's a big problem in Christendom. Uh, yes, so don't criticize your head of state. Listen to the King of Kings. Yes. And in our country, we bless our president to do well. We bless those who are counselors with him to hear from God accurately, wisdom. And we pray God places a Daniel near the president, that God will be downloading wisdom that only heaven has. God raised up 24 Josephs for the 24 gates of provision, providence, resources God has given Sri Lanka. And you in England, you pray for that. In U.S., in Germany, or Christian, in France, see, take hold of your nation. Yes, don't say, I'll be in my corner. No, take hold of your nation. Switzerland, Italy, Spain, take hold of your nation. Yes, Malaysia, take hold of your nation. And we know in China, somehow the church will seize the nation. Church will, India, and our beloved Sri Lanka. So we bless our health services, police services, military services, and Australia, of course. Take hold of the nation. We tell the Church of God, take hold of the nation. So Isaiah 11, uh, the spirit of wisdom. So that Matthew 25 story has this, that that steward had to have wisdom. It's good to be men of integrity, honesty, faithfulness, but we need wisdom, isn't it? With the tribe of Issachar was well known for their wisdom, what to do in a season. They quickly recognized it was David's time for kingship, yes. So, uh, spirit of wisdom, stewards with wisdom, uh, simple wisdom, and they bend low. You bend down, go on your knees, and help someone with the cord. Maybe just uh, rescue the perishing. I heard this song all the time when this vision was on. Rescue the perishing, care for the dying, snatch them in pity from sin and the grave. I heard it all the time. And also I heard another old one, another old one, I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. So it's a time of redemption, but those chords have to work. They came from heaven, you take it in your hand, and the hour will come, you know where to go with it, who will get saved. That's right. Some very unlikely people, highly placed, but they are groping in darkness, they are saying, we don't know what to do. You will say, I know, God knows what to do. Such a time has come. So the wisdom, the stewards need wisdom, and to be faithful, and to do very simple things that will get God into the situation. So that steward did not get drunk with his own power. You know, some stewards get drunk with arrogance, conceit. That steward didn't get drunk. You remember, Jesus gave a parable of a steward who got drunk. People get drunk not only with alcohol. They get drunk with their self-importance, yes. Some little good that happened becomes the obstruction to the much greater good God has for them, intoxication. We are not going that way. So this steward knew he has to feed 
the master's house. What are we? We have to be stewards to feed the master's house with right food in season, hidden manner, feed the master's house. That's it. That's faithfulness. The master comes then and say, well done, the good and faithful servant. You understood it. Stewards have wisdom. Wisdom comes with meekness, uh, humility. It's, it's not a big thing. It's not knowledge. It's wisdom. Knowledge needs a little, you know, work, hard work, a bit of terabytes upstairs. But wisdom comes to the humble. Because James 3.17 says, the quality of wisdom, since you, so you put your finger at Isaiah 11, I hope you are listening with your Bible in your hand. <clears throat> and we go to J James 3. Because this is the time he's distilling wisdom like the dew of heaven into the hearts of his people and even into the brain of his people. This is the time that those who get wise with God, wise unto salvation, our relatives, our bosses, big shots, they are in trouble. They are groping, they are groping. I want to thank God, uh, the chairman who is responsible for 10,000 jobs. And he has to be able to pay, uh, pay 10,000 people, pay livelihoods. He was able to pay every single one of them. Praise God. He, a godly man, he said, I was able. Even in this time, they didn't reduce salaries. Another company I know and uh, the great godly brother and they were able to pay their 10,000 workers can you imagine in the, it's a manufacturing company agro manufacturing company but God came through God helps yes so we are looking at the features of this wisdom that will prevail at a time like this that works through this white cord white cord yes uh, James 3 here is the wisdom that James has for us, at least God has for us, described in James 3. We will go with it. The wisdom from heaven or above, James 3.17 is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, reasonable, full of mercy, good fruits, unwavering, without hypocrisy. And the seed whose fruit is righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. So we will be much sought after. What's the other one? Wisdom that is not from above is earthly, natural, demonic. <coughs> That's James 3, 15 and 16. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every evil thing. So beloved child of God, there is a time for that kind of wisdom. Remember, that cord works from the throne of heaven. It looks a humble cord. You hold it with your hand, kneeling, standing, whichever way, uh, on the edge, you, you have been given a deck, that's, that's your call, and that's your visibility. Uh, what, will you, what will you do with your visibility? <clears throat> so you put this cord out, excuse me, you put this cord out, and heaven is working. The place, the person, the project, the purpose, four P's, add three more. Then uh, we go back to Isaiah 11, spirit of wisdom and understanding. So the understanding will come for a new avenue of business. Let understanding come. Lord, when everybody is finding it difficult about business, let heaven's understanding come and pray with me for 24 Josephs, for the 24 gates Sri Lanka has, coconut tea, rubber garments, fisheries, aquatic resources, spices, you know. Sri Lanka is so endowed, 24 gates. And what are we looking for? Those who will be people, God finds them. They'll be either believers or they are willing to fear God, <coughs> excuse me, and hear from him. So he will raise up people in this exigency who will understand quickness of the fear of God gives wisdom, opportunities, avenues, treasures get translated from darkness to light, secret things hitherto shut up, not seen because of sin will open up and those bronze doors that went against went against Sri Lanka will have a key of redemption you remember those keys of the kingdom 24 men we are looking for who will spearhead this pioneer this and they will come alongside the president and say president we have this kind of uh, understanding what do you say spirit of counsel so that is in conversation and sit together and do it and strength. So for all this, in difficult times, you need strength to push through. So counsel is, there has to be someone who sits with you and you listen. 
This is something Christians are not good at. Uh, when divine counsel comes, they listen to CNN, fake news, all kinds of things. So they can't discern between divine counsel and everything else that floats around. That's the problem with the Christian. Endless clips they listen to, they have forgotten what the voice of the Lord sounds like. Endless TV programs, endless consternation, endless conflicts, uh, banter, all kinds of things. How can we know when God speaks? We might think it is Chris Cuomo. We might think it is some news anchor. We are listening so much to other stuff. Would to God that we just tune ourselves, tune ourselves to the God speaking frequency. That's counsel. And then comes strength. With the counsel comes strength. And then the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Spirit of knowledge, very helpful thing. Uh, when you gather knowledge, knowledge is what already it, it's imbibed in you. The word, knowledge of the word, it's in your bones, it's in your marrow, it's in your thinking, it's in your seeing, knowledge of the Lord. And it's in your hearing, everything you hear, you hear it with the knowledge of the word. Did you understand the spirit of knowledge? and the fear of the Lord. Actually, the Hebrew says the quickness of the fear of the Lord and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. So all these things are triggered, catalyzed, kept activated because of the fear of the Lord that has to increase in the church of Jesus Christ. Family prayer time what you allow on your laptop screen, what you allow on your TV screen, what you talk, how you talk. God is welcome and present very near when he sees, hears, feels reverence. What attracts God? Reverence. God attracts himself. So when we are full of God, he says, I'll come and add some more of myself. Not some more of me self, some more of God's self. So nor does he have, yes. So here it is, Isaiah 11. He will delight in the fear of the Lord, and he will not judge by what his eyes see, nor make a decision by what his ears see. So this is the spirit, and he, with righteousness he will judge the poor. We will get this opportunity to set things right. You remember yesterday our lesson was, Lord Jesus Christ comes and he's already separating the uh, sheep and the goat, which means you can't do business as usual. That's what has happened. Now hitherto, goats and sheep did business together. You worked in the same place together. There was no problem. But now there's going to be a problem. So I'm not saying you leave your workplace. Just that you need to have the cordon of God, godliness around you. While you work, maybe in the same workplace. But you need to have this separation that yesterday you remember the master, the sheep were called uh, to master. Very, listen to my instructions carefully. Today it was a gong, gong, gong given instructions yes listen to it every day and some of us will have to listen to it every hour so yesterday the lord jesus christ came and said this is what i'm doing and he gave a report of what's happening in the world hunger sheep kind feeding the hungry goat kind causing hunger sheep kind then thirsty sheep kind uh, giving water to the thirsty, goat kind, d making people thirsty. Then strangers, disenfranchised, leaving home, leaving country, goat kind, creating strangers, aliens, migrants, yes, intentional, engineered, and the sheep kind, taking the homeless home to come home. Come home, ye that are weary, come home, strangers. Then the Lord Jesus Christ looked and said, Naked, in so many different, violated, sexually violated, promiscuity from young days, the digital screen, what not, clothe them. So, goat kind makes nakedness, LGBTQ and the whole lot, and the sheep kind gives clothes. Did you understand? So when the Lord came for the judgment of the nations, I'm speaking from Matthew 25 verse 31, everyone thought he will say, oh marvelous sports, oh great entertainment, oh great scientific achievement. No. He say, comes and says, hunger. Thank you sheep kind, you fed the hungry, and goat kind, you created hunger. That's how it went. The judgment of sheep and goats, yes. Then he said, 
I was sick. The health system makes you sick. Yes. Things you swallow make you sick. Medical research makes you sick. I can speak with some authority on this and I hope you get my clips and uh, my clips are available on my Facebook wall and on YouTube. If you want anything sent, please send a WhatsApp to plus 94 77 49 59 214. My blog is drladminisblog.wordpress.com. <coughs> that has quite a lot of this technical stuff if you want it. So he came and he said, so many are sick, sheep kind, thank you, you took care of the sick, goat kind, you created the sick. You remember? Matthew 25, 31. That's the judgment. Those who did those things, the goat kind, and those who looked after, cared for those things, the sheep kind. It is time for sheep kind to arise and be sheep. Don't be the hybrid thing between the sheep and the goat doing Ezekiel 34. Please read it. If you missed it yesterday, please go back and listen to the clip also. Uh, so this is the time for all this. And finally, he said, I was in prison. <coughs> Excuse me, you came and saw. So people who put others in prison, uh, rob their opportunities, put nations into prison with vaccines and virus guards, and then uh, take their resources away. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, co what COVID did was, expose the whole system expose the whole system so that sheep kind may be ready separation has already begun so here a little more of our work Isaiah 11 but with the righteousness he will judge the poor and decide with fairness for the afflicted of the earth it's almost like Matthew 25 verse 31 the sheep go judgment isn't it it's about nations and the same ministry of isaiah is giving to the one who is quick in the fear of the lord such a church to arise but with judgment he will judge the poor and decide with fairness for the afflicted of the earth and he will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked so that time is coming so we are living between summons time and warrants time. Summons, we do. We are only servants. We can appeal, rescue the perishing, care for the dying, snatch them in pity from sin and the grave. So are we, we only have an appeal, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade to Corinthians 5.11. But when angels come and trumpets start blowing, angels come and a trumpet starts blowing, it's a different scenario. That's going to be tough. Better be ready for it. Uh, so yes, do you have anything more to share? Yes, the Proverbs. Now, where is all this happening? Proverbs chapter 1, 20. Wisdom shouts in the street. Why is wisdom shouting in the street? Not heard. They're hearing other streets, other things. She lifts her voice in the square. Proverbs 1, 20. So here is the demographic in the streets. In the square is the marketplace where business is occurring. At the head of the noisy streets, at the head, you know, at, at important place, you know, at the head. Uh, so in, in those days, uh, uh, the big shots or Job-like people sat at the head. You have heard it here. At the entrance of the gates, so there are gates of the city. She utters her sayings. Whom she is speaking to, verse 22, naive ones, simple-minded ones, scoffers delight themselves in coffers and fools not a very flattering description isn't it but they will all get a chance to hear wisdom they may be now of course our neighbors our brothers sisters cousins aunts uncles nieces nephews who didn't listen to us but please try with them again try tell them time has changed send some of these clips now this clip obviously is for christians i have a lot of clips that i have done carefully so that unbelievers may consider the cause of christ may consider christ's explanation i will do a similar one today at about 12 i think a similar one for unbelievers explaining the same thing in language uh, our friends who do not know Christ will understand. So you, can, you, you saw the description of Proverbs. Whom will this, who, to whom will wisdom cry? So now you must go with this wisdom in the meekness of wisdom. They listen to meekness, not to arrogance. Don't go brow to brow. Go from heart to heart. Yes. How long, O naive ones, 
you be simple minded ones, uh, scoffers, uh, delight themselves in scoffing, and fools. That word there is uh, morally, uh, the, the fools, the, the Hebrew is uh, more, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a it's immorality, fools, it means immorality, yes. So uh, the Lord is speaking to them and uh, to call on me uh, that a while I may be found. That's, that's the scripture there. Then comes Proverbs 8, another set of situations where wisdom is calling. Why, why are we going into detail? You have these cords that came in the morning. There were cords. There are a sailor's cord. And you have to save them, rescue the perishing, care for the dying, go above the billows. Jesus is calling, calling us all. Yes, so we have to take it to them softly and tenderly. Pass me not to gentle Savior. This is the time like that. Uh, so we have to find ways and means of throwing this line to people whom we can. Again, Proverbs chapter 8, does not wisdom call? Of course wisdom calls. Understanding, lift up her voice. Well, on top of the heights, besides the way. So heights are places where judges are, government is, a president is, a cabinet minister, legislators, top shots, you know, uh, big, big chaps, huh? Yeah, top of the heights. Wisdom is calling to them. They might come to you. Think of someone whom you know personally. Send the script to that person. He may be in need. I've also done a clip called uh, Genetics and Kinetics. It's about the fatherhood ability resident in people. You can ask for it on our WhatsApp. And that speaks to believers, unbelievers alike about what God already put into them and how God is hoping to use them at this time. So you see, Wisdom calls, top of the heights, then besides the way, then where paths meet, you know, interaction, she takes a stand. Besides the gate, at the opening of a city, very important place, commerce, business and all that, at the, besides the gate, at the opening of the city, wisdom, uh, wisdom speaks. At the entrance of the doors, that into every house, every house, doors are every house, at the entrance of the doors, she cries out, yeah, by crying out, time is short, she's saying, please listen, in all those places. And to who is wisdom calling, according to Proverbs 8, to you, O oh, men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. So, to generations, to men, older people, sons of men, younger people, they are both called. Then here again, naive ones understand prudence, fools understand, please understand wisdom. Listen, for I will speak, what, what will wisdom speak? Verse 6, noble things, opening of my lips will reveal right things, uh, for my mouth will utter truth and Yes, all that are in righteousness. So that's what we will speak. Then comes whom will he speak to? By knowledge, take my instruction and not uh, verse 12. A wisdom dwell with prudence. I find knowledge and discretion. Fear of the Lord is to hate evil and all that. Counsel is mine. And here, next set of people, wisdom. Now, some of those cords turn gold because they have to touch people who touch gold. Gold speaks to gold, silver speaks to spilver, everything else speaks to everything else. So uh, to gold people you have gold colored wisdom, if you may. So here it is, Proverbs 8.15, by me, still wisdom, by me, king's reign. Who knows? You might become the king's friend and you can tell him wisdom. So that's why a Daniel is necessary to tell King Wisdom and a Joseph to give that kind. And Nehemiah, Nehemiah is just carrying the cups and so on, very humble. But the king, when the king is sad, Nehemiah knows. And king promotes him to, and gives him provision out of the treasury of the king. Go build God's city, go build God's church. That's the Nehemiah. Then uh, Mordecai keeps the gate. He watches evil coming in, what, and he, he watches. That's what, that's what Mordecai is. So kings reign and rulers, so kings, rulers decree justice. That is obviously in the courthouse. Uh, princes rule, princes, nobles, all who judge rightly. So all those people also need wisdom. Uh, so that's about the terrain and the operation of wisdom. I think we have done enough for today. So those cords that God gave you, take it in your hand. It's connected to heaven. 
you have to put them to work. Don't say no work. You were given at least seven cards. Yes, I like to have at least besides six hours of sleep, 18 cards to do 18 different things. Some of it is studying, some of it is saying, some of it is speaking. So it depends on what industry and how industrious you like to be in the call of God. Don't say, I don't have time. Churches have, are closed, but God is not closed. Your ministry is not closed. Your call is not closed. It's a matter of taking the call God has for you. It's connected to heaven and be industrious. Ask him the purpose, the place, the person, the project. Then the quickness of the fear of the Lord that in his vision, in his hearing comes the proposition for you to go and do. It can be every hour, at least one a day. Say, Lord, tell, tell me how to save a soul one a day and a project one a day. Father, we thank you. These are not easy times, but you came through with your gong and you gave us these cords for operation. It's ti operation time. Help us, Lord, to hear you. If we know we can't do it the way we did it in the past. We have to hear you. We have to be with you and you have to be with us. Help us in Jesus' name. Thank you.